To learn more about Earth system science and how NASA studies the Earth, let's go visit with Dr. Melody Ann Avery from NASA Langley Research Center. Earth system science is an integration of many scientific disciplines, including geology, biology, chemistry, physics, oceanography, meteorology, computer science, and all other sciences that study life and the Earth. NASA scientists use modern technologies to measure key features of our planet, such as concentrations of gases in the atmosphere and the temperature of the ocean in many locations. Satellites orbiting our planet provide enormous amounts of data that scientists use to try to understand how our planet works and the changes that are happening. You know our science long perceived as a minor field compared to biology and the physical sciences, is now emerging as an important field because of the new ability of humans to change the balance of the Earth system. And students, with Earth system science, you have greater opportunities to learn through inquiry, exploration, and discovery, aided by the expanded use of the internet and visualization technology. I think it is fair to say that our quality of life depends on the quality of our Earth scientists and on the quality of our citizens' knowledge about the Earth systems. This is because understanding the land, air, water, and life of our planet gives us the knowledge to best manage the world around us. For the first time in history, we can dramatically change the way the planet works as a whole. Here are a few questions for you to think about. How can we change the way the planet works as a whole? What technologies have humans developed to make that change possible? Well, there are so many people living on the planet and each person needs energy like food, water, heating, and transportation. All of this energy, if used carelessly, can change the Earth's climate, deplete its ozone shield, and dramatically alter the number and kinds of other organisms that share our planet. Students, let's take a look back at one of the questions that Jennifer posed to you earlier in the show. What do you think are the parts of the Earth's system? Everything in Earth's system can be placed into one of four major subsystems. Land, air, water, and life. We call these four subsystems spheres, specifically, they are the lithosphere or land, atmosphere or air, hydrosphere or water, and biosphere or life. Let's learn a little bit about each sphere. Suppose you were to slice the Earth in half and view its different layers. What would it look like? The lithosphere, sometimes called the geosphere, contains the hard solid land of the planet's surface called the crust, the semi-solid layer underneath the crust called the mantle, the liquid layer near the center of the planet called the outer core, and a solid dense center called the inner core. The crust is very uneven. There are high mountain ranges like the Rockies and Andes shown in red, huge plains or flat areas like those in Texas, Iowa, and Brazil shown in green, and deep valleys along the ocean floor shown in blue. The atmosphere contains all the air in Earth's system. It extends from the planet's surface to more than 100 kilometers above the planet's surface. The atmosphere itself is composed of a number of layers. The middle portion of the atmosphere, the stratosphere, protects the organisms of the biosphere from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. When air temperature in the lower part of the atmosphere, the troposphere, changes, weather occurs. As air in the lower atmosphere is heated or cooled, it moves around the planet. The result can be as simple as a breeze or as complex as a tornado or hurricane. The hydrosphere contains all the solid, liquid, and gaseous water of the planet. The hydrosphere extends from Earth's surface downward several kilometers into the lithosphere and upward about 12 kilometers into the atmosphere. Solid or frozen water can be found in the form of glaciers, ice caps, and icebergs. This is also called the cryosphere. Liquid water can be found in the form of oceans, rivers, lakes, streams, 
and groundwater beneath the Earth's surface. Gaseous water, water vapor, can be found in the atmosphere and also inside your lungs where it is key to life. The final sphere, the biosphere, contains all the planet's living things. This sphere includes all of the microorganisms, plants, and animals of Earth. Within the biosphere, living things form ecological communities based on physical surroundings of an area. These communities are referred to as biomes. Deserts, grasslands, and tropical rainforests are three of the many biomes that exist within the biosphere. Can you determine what biome you live in? Now it is time for you and your teacher to discuss Jennifer's second question. How do the parts of the Earth system you identified work together to make Earth function as a whole? Also, now that you compared your parts list with NASA's list, how does each sphere work together to make Earth function as a whole? This is a great time to pause the program and discuss these questions with your peers or teacher. Students, remember there is one last question that Jennifer would like for you to discuss with your teacher, and that is, how is the Earth system itself part of larger systems? But before you discuss that question, let's send it back to Jennifer.